हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम तक्षील यादव वेलकम बैक टू माय सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन इंग्लिश ग्रामर द टॉपिक ऑफ आवर टुडेज लेक्चर इज एडजेक्टिव एंड डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ एडजेक्टिव हैव अ लुक एट दीस सेंटेंसेस ही इज पुअर बट ऑनेस्ट शी इज अ ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन राहुल इज हैंडसम एंड इंटेलिजेंट ही इज रिच In these sentences, poor and honest qualify and tell us the state of the pronoun he. Beautiful tells us about the pronoun she. It qualifies the pronoun she. Ra- handsome and intelligent qualify and state the noun Rahul. And here the word rich. qualifies the pronoun he from all these sentences we can say that if we want to tell the quality of a noun or a pronoun we use some special words now we can say that an adjective is a word that is used to qualify a noun or a pronoun the words poor honest beautiful handsome intelligent and rich are all adjectives because they qualify the nouns and pronouns he she rahul and he respectively now kinds of adjectives there are many different kinds of adjectives they are adjective of quality adjective of quality adjective of quantity adjective of number demonstrative adjective possessive adjective distributive adjective interrogative adjective proper adjective and emphasizing adjective now let us study about each one of them first adjective of quality the adjectives that tell us about the quality of a noun or a pronoun are known as adjectives of quality for example old brave intelligent etc old short tall fat thin are also some examples of adjective of quality let us look at the sentence example he is very old they are very brave here the words old and brave tell us how how the the quality of the nouns or the pronouns he and they respectively now adjective of quantity an adjective of quantity is an adjective that tells us how much a noun or a pronoun is how much for example some much little some much little a little all a lot of sufficient etc for example if we take uh, the adjective of quantity some there was sorry there was a little milk in the jar i did not take uh, the adjective of quantity some there was a little milk in the jar here little tells us the quantity of the milk in the jar it tells us the quantity that is why it is adjective of quantity third adjective of number adjective of number tells us the number of a noun or a pronoun for example few no enough all several one two fifth some etc adjective of number are of two types definite adjective of number and indefinite adjective of number definite adjective of number tells us the definite quantity definite number for example 1 2 50 5 5 and indefinite adjectives of number tell us do not tell us the fixed or exact quantity for example few no enough 
all. Okay. If we go even further, definite adjectives of numbers. Definite adjectives of number are divided into two types. They are cardinal and ordinal definite adjectives of number. Cardinal numbers are simple numbers. First, second, one, two, three. First, second, do not come under this category. And ordinal numbers tell us about the position in which at which this tend for example first second third fifteenth fourteenth nineteenth hundredth etc now fourth demonstrative adjectives the adjectives that are used to point out point out something are known as adjectives demos are known as demonstrative adjectives the sum main the sum main common used demonstrative adjectives are this that these those such etc now possessive adjective the adjectives that are used to show possession that are used to show possession are known as possessive adjectives for example my our your his her they are its its etc this sixth distributive adjectives each every either neither are known as distributive adjectives when they are placed before nouns when they are placed before nouns not everywhere only when they are placed before nouns, then they are known as distributive adjectives. For example, each, every, either, and neither. Seventh, interrogative adjectives. The adjectives that are used to ask questions are known as the interrogative adjectives. For example, what, which, whose, etc. Proper adjectives. The adjectives that are formed from proper nouns are known as proper adjectives. For have a look at these examples: Indian, Russian, American, Chinese, Japanese, etc. Here the word Indian, the adjective Indian has come from the proper noun India. Russian from Russia, American from R America. Chinese from China and Japanese from Japan, Japan, Japan. Nine, emphasizing adjectives. The adjectives are, that are used to show emphasis, that are used to show emphasis, are known as emphasizing adjectives. For example, very, same, very same, own. For example, this is the very book that I wanted. This is the very book that I wanted. But if we say that this is the book that I wanted, it is a simple sentence. It does not show any emphasis. But if we say this is the very book that I wanted, means it shows the emphasis on the book. So it comes under emphasizing adjective. So friends, this was all about adjectives. Thank you for watching my video. And if you like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Takshil Yadav. Jai Hind.